hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another fsr 3.1.3 video uh, yeah you heard it right fsr 1.3.3 just released and uh, here are the channel on your screen right now and along with that we are also going to take a look at uh, warhammer space marine 2 update uh, fsr 3 slash dlss 3 so if you go to the ign's website of uh, warhammer 2 uh, they will say that uh, now fsr 3 slash dlss 3 frame generation has been implemented to the game with the update 5 but however uh, if you go back to the game setting and uh, video uh, you can currently see frame generation is right now off uh, my fps is uh, 50 to 60 and even after i enable it where is it there so even after enabling it you can see it says uh, dlss3 frame generation on the right side uh, of the screen but uh, it does not say anything about uh, fsr frame generation however they did mention fsr frame generation but there is no explanation of fsr in the description of in-game setting so if i apply the frame generation and come back to the game it is still around the same 50 and 60 so no frame is being generated i don't know why uh, fsr3 is not taking effect so we are going to do the modding and uh, enable the FSR 3 frame generation. Along with that, we will update the FSR to 3.1.3, which is uh, downloadable from the link in the description. So, yeah, let's start this video without any delay now. Alright, uh, you will see two zips here FSR 3.1.3 and DLSS enabler trunk. 3.0.3 now you can use the stable 3.0.2 but i am using this one as this one contains the optiscalar uh, preview 68 so we're going to first extract it here now first step is to install the dlss enabler then we paste the fsr 3.1.3 or else uh, your fsr 3.1.3 dll will be overwritten by the dlss enablers older fsr3 dll so yeah uh, we're gonna to run run it as administrator then accept classic stuff you know next next then we're gonna go to the installation directory of uh, warhammer which is here for me after that uh, client pc then root bin pc where the warhammer space marine to retail.ex is located we're going to co copy this folders location so we're going to click on this address bar whole path will be selected then right click copy come back to dlss enabler select the path delete right click paste and then click next now in here select the first vnm dll version and enable nvidia and sorry enable amd and intel gpu support if you have an amd and intel if you don't then just untick it after that we are selecting the 0.6 as we don't want the opti frame gen but we want the in-game frame gen so we will install the 0.6 after that we click on enable signature res enable disable file then next then install after installing uh, come back to the installation directory again we will see disable signature file has been installed here so we're going to double click on it then click on yes now dls enabler has been installed we will update the fsr 3.1.3 dl so we're going to extract this zip on the desktop in here uh wait in here we will find two files these two dll which are already present in the games directory these are older dll so we're just going to copy this dll to the installation directory and replace it if it asks to it will ask to if you are installing it on warhammer 2 now every modding has been done now i will jump back into the game and i will show fsr 3.1.3 in action and uh, with that fsr 3 frame generation also so yeah let's dive into the game now get microsoft xbox game pass at 750 rupees per year and the ultimate game pass including all the third party launchers like ea play ubi soft and blizzard and others at 14.99 per year all right uh, we are back inside the game and still the fps is 50 around 50 to 54 yeah now uh, we will go to the setting uh, video after that uh, we will turn on the frame generation now if you want to use the fsr 3.1.3 you will need to set the 
resolution scaling to DLSS if you have done everything correctly you should be able to use the DLSS on AMD and Intel GPU also uh, so yeah enable the DLSS after that frame generation turn on apply it after that come back to the game and now you can see frame rate has boosted from 50 to almost near 100 and uh, if you want to use the FSR 3.1.3 you will need to hit the INS slash insert key on the keyboard pause the game then uh, from this arrow you will click on this FSR 3.x and click on apply and now you will see it has been selected as FSR 3.1.3 you can also change to the custom version 2.3.2 or the FSR 3.1.3 and you can click on this uh, upscaler here and click on 3.1.3 or select 2.3.2 uh, then click on change upscaler and now if you close this UI go back to the game uh, you have set FSR 3.1.3 which is the latest version uh, along with that uh, frame generation is also working uh, now one small issue is still remaining which is if you look toward the sky and move your character you can see a little bit ghosting around this character's edges uh, around the look around the jetpack on the back of the character you can see a little bit ghosting is still there but when you are playing it on the fast motion and everything you uh, will not be noticing it uh, so yeah this will be it for this video now if this helps you consider subscribing to the channel join discord for uh, more upcoming mods and cheap games and everything and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers